All right, so this is Mr. Kerbis. And Mr. Song. Today we're moving on to the last topic of the probability unit, where we're combining what we learned about sets and Venn diagrams to the context of probability problems. All right, so the question says, in a group of 100 students, 50 study mathematics, 29 study biology, and 13 study both. So I'm going to fill in the Venn diagram here. Um, it's always a good idea to start from the middle and move out. Mm -hmm. so, so how many are in that intersection? So there's a math and there's biology and 13. Study both. Mm -hmm. Okay, and because 50 study math and 13 is already here, that should be 37 students studying math but not biology, and 29 students total study biology, 13 is over here, so 16 study math, oh, biology, oh, yeah. but not math, mm -hmm. right? And in these two subsets, there are 50 plus 16, so 64 students, and there are 100 total. 50 plus 16 is how many? 66. Good. Is that what I said? Sure. <laughs> There's 34 here. Good. Yeah. So the total inside the Venn diagram has to add up to 100. Right. Now we can find these probabilities. Probability of picking a, uh, let's say, we're picking a random student out of the 100. And what is the probability that I'm going to pick a student who study math? So we got 50 out of the total 100, or 1 half. And as we talked about earlier in an earlier video, how you state your probabilities, decimals, percent, fractions, reduced fractions, will all be given full points. 1 half, or you can say 0 0.5. Or 50%. Or 50%. Okay, we'll mark all those right. So what is the probability of B, biology? Right. We know that 29 stu students study biology, so 29 over 100. Mm -hmm. Oh, what was that? That U-shaped thing, what did that mean again? Hmm. Could it be the union of M and B? Ah, yeah, the first letter, the hint there. Good, so the union. Union of M and B. So we have to count everybody in math and biology. And that was 66. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to write 66 out of 100. Mm -hmm. And then so there for the upside down one, should be the intersection, mm -hmm. just the red part here. So it'll be 13 out of 100. So 13 out of 100 study mathematics and biology. Next question, what is the probability of M complement? Ah, that's easy because we did the probability of M above, 50 mm -hmm. out of 100, or so 1 half, be. so therefore 1 minus that leaves us with the same. Right. How about the probability of B complement? Then again, we, we found the probability of B here, so we can do 1 minus probability of B, mm -hmm. which would be 71 out of 100. And finally, one that's a little bit trickier, probably if we use some colors to break it down, go back to the Venn diagram understanding with the sets. Once we've identified the set, then it'll be easy. Right, so here's um, math, intersection, biology prime, so biology complement. So intersection between math and not biology is this part right here. Mm -hmm. So if you take all the math, what we did in the previous examples, we won't do on this one because of the colors that we already have on here, but if you're unsure about where that comes from, look at the previous video. You can see everybody that studies math is all 50 of those. However, you intersect it with everybody who does not study bio, and that leads only the yellow guys, 37 who study math and not bio. Because those 13 who study math also study bio, so that's not interesting to us. And the 34 on the outside, although they do not study bio, they also don't study math. So the 34 are what we're not interested in, leaving the 37 with what we are interested in as the intersection. All right. And the trickiest we'll go to in the next example is with three circles. Okay, so that's it for the two circle examples. And we'll have it all filled in for you. However, again, like the previous video, where would you start if you just had clues and not the numbers already in the diagram? 
from the middle. With this middle, good. And the really challenging problems, for example, maybe an unfamiliar, would have more than, um, it wouldn't give you that intersection of all three. You'd have to mathematically deduce that. That would be an interesting question. Yeah, we should think about one. Mm -hmm. So we know that there are a total of 224 members. So if you add up all the numbers here, you should get 224. All right, find the probability that the member only uses, only used the gym. Only the gym, so. Now the gym and nothing else. It's just this yellow bit that Mr. Song's shading here. So there are 21. We don't need to add these all up because the clue is in the problem at the top. We can assume that all the information is given. So 221 out of 224. Okay. The member used the gym. That would be? That's a bit larger, isn't it? Now you're taking out all those ones that use the gym. So we should add those numbers. 80... Eight. That's a nice number. Okay. The members did not use uh, did not use a gym, so it's everywhere else. We could add all these numbers, or because we know there are eighty eight members using the gym, so we can do two two four minus eighty eight. This compliment sure has come in handy a lot, right? Right. Many, sure many has times. come in handy a lot. <laughs> 136 over 224. Okay. The member did not use any facility. Well, that's easy. It should be just out here. Mm -hmm. 36 over 224. Member used the gym and the pool, but not the sauna. Okay. Let's go for a green highlighter. So not the high, not the sauna. Mm -hmm. So gym and the pool. So it should be no there. No gym and the pool, but not the sauna. Now you have gym only. Oh you have wait, 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 wait. You can do the backwards arrow, the undo. No, not that one. This one. Wanna, yeah, that's cool. Ah, okay. Oh, we could start from scratch again hmm. and show it. it. Might be nice on a clean one. The member used the gym and the pool, but not the sauna. So gym and pool. There. Exactly. But not sauna. That 32 that you identified at the beginning as the starting point, if it wasn't filled in, that's where we would start. Those 32 used the sauna, the pool, and the gym. This is a bit sneaky because it asks for using the gym and the pool, but not the sauna. So you don't want those ones in red, those 32, because they use the sauna. But you do want the people who use the gym and the pool, that's the intersection, not the gym or the pool, which would have been the union. There's a real subtle thing between the word and and the word, and the word or. In the language when we talk, we're not as, we're more loose with it than with the math, aren't we? Mm -hmm. My favorite, given, love conditional <coughs> All right, given we know it is someone uh, who used the gym, the probability that they also use the pool and sauna. Okay, so since it's given that we use uh, the gym, so this is a part we're interested in. The probability they also use the pool and sauna, so pool and saunas right here, but you have, you're given that they use the gym, so this 32 is the number they're interested in out of everybody in the gym in the okay. circle. So we can use our clue from part B, who, how many use the gym if we're too lazy to add them all up again, we already did with the 88. We're given that we know that they use the gym, therefore we're no longer interested in 224 members, we're interested in 88 of those 224. Then of the 88, 32 of them, use the pool and, again that word and pops up, and the sauna. So 32 use the pool and the sauna out of 88 altogether.